All right, dudes and dudettes, welcome back to All the Mods 8. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a good day. It is a very good day because we are getting into Metacraft, which is going to be lit. It's all about pressure, and so hopefully we don't get too compressed this episode. But yes, I've done a little bit of work here. Put some Kivy tiles here, kind of made this expand. I don't know if I did this with you guys on camera or not. If I did, I'm so sorry. But yes, we have done great things. I was originally planning on putting all of the power systems down here. Uh, or sorry, the Metacraft stuff down here. But I think I'm going to put the power generators down here so we might move the windmills a little bit over they'll still be on the surface because they need to be but then we'll have like our reactors and stuff like that if we get into that so what do we need today well for one i got to show you guys this integrated dynamics cool system here so these item interfaces connect to the logic cable which connects to the storage terminal and then we basically have digital storage with all of it it's a little wonky uh, i have to get used to it. you have to scroll here on the right bar thingamabob but it is very nice uh, it also is a little inconvenient when you have to put some things back here because they seem to go into the crafting grid and then you have to clear them but you know it's really good to organize our systems so we don't have to look at how ugly this is but anyway let's get right into it so with pneumaticraft we have to make this book here uh the pncr manual and i have made this because we did find some compressed iron in a couple of chests while we were uh i think we were in the nether or we we're caving. I don't remember where we got the compressed iron ingots, but I know I didn't craft them yet. So we're going to actually craft a couple of these guys and you need TNT and iron. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to blow up some TNT or blow up some iron. So let's get a couple of those. We have nine. Uh, I also have quite a bit of iron. I've been doing some mining in our system that we made last episode has been just pumping out the goods. <clears throat> Yeah, as you can see, we're getting a lot of materials here, which is good, but eventually we do need to kind of expand our storage even more. So, yep, nothing else to really update here, and we did fill up the dark tank from Evilcraft. Yeah, we have so much creosote oil, it's amazing. But let's get over to the thing, and then we'll move on from there. I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, so oh, we got a zombie. Jeez Louise, that guy kind of scared me. Oh! Whoa, I forgot this was a thing. Um, yeah, we updated to the latest version as of now, uh, 0.1.6. Oh my word, that is so loud. It's still going. Stuff is still falling, or was. But yeah, we have a uh, we have enough sugar cane now for whatever we need. We're probably gonna have to put it in something like this. Hey guys, special shout out to our sponsor uh, of the modded and vanilla fan servers here, MC Pro Hosting. Guys, use my link down in the description below, or use Turtle Club in uh, checkout to get 15% off your first month. They're amazing. I highly recommend their services. They're so fast. They're so reliable. They're amazing. Check them out. Alrighty, let's blow up some iron. Um, this feels a little crazy that we're doing this, but you know, in order to make an omelet, you gotta break a few eggs. So this is what we're doing here. Hopefully it doesn't work too badly. Yo, compressed iron ingot, very cool. So let's see, we put three stacks in. Okay, so we lost, we lost like 46, 44 compressed iron ingots. Okay, that is all right. We have a bunch of TNT left over now, which is good. Um, so we have some things to make. I wanna go ahead and make some pressure tubes. So these require glass and compressed iron. So if we go like this, I'm hoping this will unlock some recipes for us maybe. <gasps> Yes, this did. Okay, so that's tubes. Um, charging module. What I want is... Um, hmm. Mob spawning. We need to generate pressure. Compressors. Air compressor. <clears throat> okay, so similar generator can produce compressed air. It will burn any solid fuel that a vanilla furnace will accept. Okay. So, air compressor, we can go ahead and make that. Um, air compressor, where do you be? Air compressor right here. So, in order to make these reinforced stone, we just take stone and mix that with... Oh, sh go away. No, go away. <clears throat> you didn't see that. Um, we take... 
Normal stone, we wrap it around and we get this stuff. Perfect. You can make reinforced bricks with it. Very cool. So now we just combine it with a furnace. And we should be able to craft the compressor. Oh, we need to make these into bricks. Okay, so now, yes, we can craft the air compressor. Very cool, building up the pressure. Now, I do think I'll be putting this uh, pneumatic craft room probably up over here. Um, so we'll probably make a little tunnel going, staircase going up this way. Um, but we're not gonna do that quite yet. We'll move into that room in a little bit. Um, but let's go ahead and test this out. So we put it here and all we have to do is just put some like coal in it. Um, I, gosh dang it, that's so annoying. I keep getting stuck on that. Let's see, there we go, we have some coal. So if we just throw the coal. Okay, so. Breaking machines like that is so uncivilized, consider sneak right clicking with the pneumatic wrench instead, especially if your machine has any stored error upgrades. Oh, so that will save it, okay. Okay, cool. So we've created the, that guy. Creative compressor, yeah, that doesn't seem very reasonable. Uh, liquid compressor, okay. Um, and the thermal compressor. Uh, we could see about making the thermal compressor here. Um, yeah, controlled by redstone signals, disabled pressure generation stops and the thermal resistance between the north. North, south, east, west faces generally increases. A little heat will still leak across, but far less than when the compressor is running. Okay. So let's check out the thermal compressor. That's an aerial interface. Thermal compressor, this guy. So we're going to utilize the thing we just crafted, which is fine. Uh, we can make another one of those actually relatively easy. Okay. And then, yeah, we have everything we need. Thermal compressor. Did that unlock anything in our pages? No. Okay. How? What is this even locked by? Maybe we just need to make all of them. So liquid compressor is next. Um, yeah, let's make a liquid compressor. Okay, so we don't have steel bars. Okay. Where, where are my bars? There they are. Okay, so small fluid tank. We made that from pneumatic craft. And then we just need another air compressor. Can I make another one of these? No, I'm missing a furnace. We will craft up a lot of these. Cool. Okay, so we have enough of those guys to go around. We can make this guy cool. Better than coal. So, liquid compressor is a simple generator which produces compressed air. It also burns liquid fuels. To do so, see which fuels you can use and their effectiveness is available up in the available fuels tab in the compressor. Note that the includes high temperature. High temperature fluids such as lava. Okay, so are we supposed to craft this up? I don't think so. I think we're supposed to do something somewhere else. We unlocked a lot of stuff in the tubes area, tube module, like tubes just transfer the power. These are good, we'll need those, but we're not really looking at those. Manufacturer fluid mixer, pressure chamber. This is it, this is what I wanted to unlock, perfect. Okay, so three by three by three pressure chamber with one valve, um, four by four. I think I wanna go for the five by five by five. Um, possible five with four valves and four interfaces. Okay, so pressure chamber wall is with these reinforced bricks. Okay. So here we go. This is all the stuff for the pressure chamber that we need. Um, we're going to do a couple of these guys. Okay. It's not as much as I was hoping for, but it will suffice. Um... Do four valves. We need two of these and then some pressure glass. Perfect. Okay, so we've got. Oh, wait. We probably need to make some more of that real quick. Give me just a second to smelt up some more cobblestone. 
Okay, so I think we're gonna set this guy up in this room here. Um, yeah, we can utilize kind of the space maybe over here. Can I mine this? So four by four is what we'd be able to make here unless we put it in the wall. Mmm, I don't know, this is tricky. Let me, because I don't want this too far away from our systems here. Okay, so this is down the stairs a little bit. I've cleared out a little bit of room, and I think this is actually where we're going to be uh, putting the the big guy. So we do need a five by five by five space. Uh, so we need to go out two more blocks, and then we start clearing this boy out. So yeah, um, I'm pretty excited about this. Pneumaticraft is something I've always like wanted to get into, but I've always been like really nervous. So we're just gonna send it. All right, so five by five. Let's take a look at the manual here. Okay, so, hmm. We can have four interfaces. I think we're just gonna, yeah, I think we're gonna have all four. Wait, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, um... And then I assume all the way around. This is crazy cool. However, we need to put the valves in a different place. I want to put the valves kind of on the left. We're also going to kick this wall out a little bit more to at least another three blocks. Um, so we can have some room on this side. So it kind of be our pneumatic craft room, I, I suppose. So here we go. Um, pressure chamber wall. We have the windows now. So the back windows will be filled in. And this one. Um, yeah, and then here's where the pressure chamber valves will be. Whoops, not like that. Well, I think we we probably only need a couple. Um, and then we'll have the interfaces here, and then more glass, and boom. Balanced crafting system. Very cool. That worked out like really well. Um, so these are the interfaces. We can set these, I believe, to the other way. Yeah, so there we go. So this is an input and this is an output. Um, yeah, I like that a lot. So now, actually, no, we need to flip these. I want the output to be on the left. <laughs> I'm being silly. Sorry, guys. Very particular about how I want this set up. So input is on the right. Output is on the left. Perfect. Okay. So that is working. That guy opened up. We just need to supply this guy with pressure. Um, let's see. That is definitely not what I wanted to do. Maybe... Something like this, and then we can get those pressurized pipes in there. I think we should get a valve so we can vent some of the pressure within there. Um, pressure tube. Okay, these are simple. Okay. So wait, let's see here. Let's check the the map. Uh, etching acid fluid mixer, very cool. But tubes, charging module, pressure gauge module, safety module. Um, the tube module is placed to limit the pressure in a tube, preventing explosions. Any excess pressure will be depressed into the atmosphere. Okay, yeah, we definitely need to make one of these guys. Uh, safety tube module. So 
Sorry, I did not type the right safety tube module here. Okay, so we're gonna craft this guy up. This should hopefully prevent us from exploding. That is the goal. Okay, so let's see. How does this interact? So if we place, is it, you place it on the pipe itself. Yes, okay, good, 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 good. I like that. We need to, I'm probably gonna make one more just to be safe because I wanna have those kind of be isolated. I don't know if I'm gonna combine them yet. We might, ah, we might combine them. I don't know. What? Okay. So if we did this, and then, not this guy, chamber valve. We did this, and then we take like that. And we vent it. Warnings, no valid items in chamber. Okay, so that should mean we can start building pressure here. Uh, threshold 4.9 bar, so anything over will be vented. Okay, so we are building pressure in here, amazing. We're gonna have both of these guys going. Uh, I also wanna get the thermal um, compressor here. We just put lava and then water or ice. Um, I don't have any ice yet. We don't have silk touch on a pickaxe yet, so we're probably just gonna have to do lava and water, I believe is what it showed. Let's have a look, see here, compressors, thermal compressor. Hmm, I probably should get some ice. Um, bucket. Hmm. I'm not too sure. Cool thing is we have a lava pool kind of over here uh, that I've been pulling from. We also have some oil that we can pull, and that is pneumaticraft oil, so which is awesome. So there's that too. Um, hmm. Okay. So we're just gonna try with water and lava for now. Cool thing is lava will light up the area. And let's see, so that is building pressure. Very good. Um, west temperature very hot, north temperature holding. East temperature we can raise. This isn't building a lot of pressure, but it is doing something, generating a little bit, and then this will vent it if it gets too high. This guy isn't even running, so if we have that running, should be filling up a lot quicker, yeah. And then this guy will continue to run, this guy will continue to vent so that we can craft safely. Uh, so we need to put items into the pressure chamber there, they get crafted, and then they get exported out. So let's see if we can make some compressed iron. So we go like this. Should be able to put this in here. No. <laughs> Get in there. Wait, I didn't do it right. Get in there. Hmm, I forget how. Importing items. Block is used to import a pressure item. Pressure chamber imports on the I interface. When you have at least two pressure chambers, one's in the chamber, one of the O inferences point in the chamber, one point in the outside world. Okay. Hmm. See, does this booklet talk about in and out? Okay, so we gotta get a hopper here. We also have a blood moon, so I'm sorry about the noise you guys will be hearing for the next couple of whiles. Um, did I utilize all the Minecraft chests? I did not, perfect. So items are pumped in via chest. It is spooky season, everyone. <laughs> okay, so items pumped in here. If we do this, yes, it goes in. Very good, okay. Oh, 
Ooh, there it goes. So it's in there. It's in there. Okay, and then we need to give it another chest interface for it to pump the items out. So we can do that. Um, chest here. It might look a little ugly, but it'll be fine. Um, so here we go. Oh. Madam of the Sa Sage. Madam Sage the Honest has awoken nearby. That's interesting. Okay, how was that turned to lava? That is weird. Okay, so still generating pressure. We just need to kind of level that up a little bit. Um, let's get some torches in there. And... We will bring some charcoal. Okay, so this guy will be running full steam. This guy will have running at full steam. Okay. So this is just not a very quick system right now. It's not even at the spot yet where it can generate those. Hmm. Let's go see about maybe getting some more lava real quick and see if that will sustain it. Okay, so we're putting the lava back here. I have another one, but I don't know why that changed. How did that even become obsidian? Now that disappeared. Hmm, I need to do some more research on the thermal guy. Okay, I don't know what's going on with the thermal guy, but it turned the lava back to obsidian, so I think I'm doing something wrong. Um, hmm. Maybe we need a couple more of these. What if we connect this dude? Hmm, yeah, we're not we're not generating a lot of pressure here. Do we just need that many more of the the furnace style generators? Is that what's going on? I mean we can do that. I just I don't know if that's the best option here. Um Alright, so a lot of these guys should be done. So we should be able to make a lot of this now. There we go. Oops. So we made six of them. That probably is way too many, but we need pressure. So we're going to put this guy. Get rid of this guy. We'll do boom, boom, boom. You get some there. You get some there. And you get some there. Jeez Louise, like, how, like, why does it take so much pressure? Am I just completely missing something here? Okay, now we're getting some particle effects, which is good. Very good. Um, we're increasing a lot. Problems add air to the chamber. I'm trying, dude. I'm really trying. Okay, so when it comes to the thermal compressor, I think it has something to do with the thermally connected sides will attempt to equalize the temperature, so effort is needed to maintain a good temperature differential. I don't know what that even means. So that's a little tricky. Um, I mean, the what the book showed was blue ice. So what that might mean is I might need to kill a few mobs here and uh, get Silk Touch on a pickaxe and then go out and try to find some ice. Uh, oh, we got an Enderman in here. We got an Ender tier. Nice. It's kind of useless. So, but anyway, I'm gonna be here for a bit. Try to get Silk Touch. We'll go find some ice, and we'll use blue ice and lava because just we're not we're not generating a lot of um, pressure, and so we just need to generate a lot more. So that's what we're gonna try to do. Uh, I'll be back in a bit. Okay, so I'm just here running back and forth to the mob farms, trying to form up enough experience. Uh, I've killed quite a bit of zombies here. Uh, we hit we we hit the the 100 zombies reward, 
But I was just running back down from the enchanting area and I heard an explosion. And so I'm a little nervous. Oh, jeez. <laughs> there goes most of our pressure. But yeah, so the, the compressed iron ingots, they worked, but one of the generator, our air compressors exploded and scared the crap out of me. So there are some upgrades that we can do for these guys. Um, let's see here. No, it's not going to tell me. Uh, I want to see what up, like, does it tell us the upgrades? Mm, components, maybe? No. Let's take a look at pneumatic craft. Um, okay, so I think these are the upgrades. And there's one that we can put in that's an automatic um, venter. That might be for armor. Hmm. Speed upgrade, volume, dispenser, item life. Okay, so the security upgrade is... What is it's not like it has security for you like i was thinking it allows you to protect the machine so we do need one of those and some lapis but that allows us to have these guys set up so it doesn't explode um okay that, that is very good So this still has some pressure in it. We can go do this. Uh, and then I think all we do is just shift right click or click it. Oh, right here. So this is the upgrades. Nice. So now this will vent if it gets too high. I'm not producing some air. Pressure would rise to the danger zone. Okay, so we definitely need one of those for each of those. Um, there's no items in here. How many bars of pressure? We have enough. We can throw some more iron in there. It just took a while to build up that pressure. Uh, we have the safety system now to regulate it so it's not going to blow up on us, which is amazing. So let's see about getting another stack of iron in there and seeing if it works properly this time. I've been waiting to get some ice to see if we can generate some more. Um, generate some more pressure with this guy, but I don't know. I think this is actually still generating pressure. Yeah. Um, this might be a good thing. Like it, it I don't know. It's weird. It's really weird. Anywho, this is about to be done. Okay, and then it says, hey, it's closing. Boom. They have disappeared. Oh, no, they're in here. They're already done. Check that out. So when the pressure is built, it just runs. Okay, so it just takes a while to build up that pressure, but once it is, it, it's ready to go. So that's really good. Uh, is this still generating pressure? Um, insufficient, yeah. Place a hot block on any side of the compressor and a cold block on the opposite side. Yeah, I think the issue is the water. Uh, it's not seeing it, so we need to put like some packed ice there. So while we do have enough pressure built up, which is amazing, uh, we need to get some silk touch. So I'm gonna continue to enchant this diamond pickaxe by killing these mobs and we'll be back later. But I just wanted to show you guys that. Ho 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 block of coal. So eight blocks of coal equals one diamond. It does use a lot of pressure, but that is really cool. You can also apply enchants. Um, this needs a, a vacuum in order to do that. Uh, but I'm just checking out some of the different uh, things here and the creative creative compressed iron block. What is that even used for? Oh, maintain any temperature you want. Okay, so I'm just looking through the recipes here and I'm pretty sure the next couple of steps in pneumatic craft are gonna be these transistors, uh, this etching acid, these PCBs, um, and, and uh, the capacitors here, because if we wanna make any of these module expansion boards, we're gonna need a finished PCB that requires an unassembled PCB transistor capacitor. Uh, yeah, and then we're gonna need to have these guys going. So I think we should focus on maybe these guys. Now crafting these dudes up if we can. Um, I think, 
Wait, these need to finish PCB. Um, hmm. Etching tank. Oh, okay. So we need an etching tank. This is the thing we are going to be crafting now. Um, I feel like that's pretty simple to craft. So we're going to do that. This will allow us to make those cool arms. Uh, they run on pressure as well. So uh, we'll have to maybe work on the other things later, like getting a silk touch pickaxe because I've been doing this for over an hour now trying to get it. And I think it's the whole uh, enchanting system revamp that's causing that. So we're not going to really worry about it too much right now. There should be other ways to get ice if I'm not mistaken. Um, ice, yeah, we could uh, compressing. Yeah, we can, we can make a compressor from FTB contraptions, uh, heat frame cooling. We could do that. Uh, we get snow blocks, put them in in our pressure chamber and boom, we got it. So I don't know why I've been doing this for so long because if we need ice, so please forgive me on that. But we now have the etching tank. I believe this is gonna require us to connect it to steam. Um, a little nervous too. Let me see if I can grab some pressure cables. Okay. Nope, that doesn't connect there. Um, I don't know what this needs. Let's do a little bit of research on it. Um, etching acid. Okay, so this is what we need. Etching acid is used to uh, chem chemically develop PCBs. Etching acid is made in the etching chamber and can be used in the etching tank. Okay, we have the etching tank over here. See the PCBs entries for more of that. Okay, so it uses one bar, so we're gonna need rotten flesh, gunpowder, spider eye, and a bucket of molten plastic. Okay, that's a little bit more than I had anticipated. Let's see here. Um, so it doesn't tell us. Let's see. Okay, molten plastic. Pour into the world or chill inventory with a heat frame to solidify it into plastic sheets. Use heat frame for the results. So it should be here then. Uh, molten plastic then. Okay, this might be a problem here. I think we need to trade for this PCB blueprint. Um, can villagers pressure? Wait. Charging station might help them. Okay, so we need to find a village and bring a charging station. And we'll have to trade with them. Uh, this guy here. That's pretty simple to make. Um, but I don't have any emeralds. Uh, is there a way to craft emeralds? Let's go ahead and put A on this. Oop, that was Z. A. Okay, we can trade it with a villager, which I believe is probably going to be our best bet is trading it. Because trying to go and find it is really tough. Yeah, we're going to have to trade. So I need to wander about and find a village. So I will do that now. Uh, I'll craft up a couple of these charging stations here. We're just missing these and there we go. Uh, I'm gonna make two of these so we can convert those villagers and I'll be back. We'll do the slash home thing and we'll you know teleport back home. Uh, but yes, off to find some villagers. Okay, so pretty cool. I was able to find a village uh, that uses one experience level each time. I should probably stop doing that, but we're not gonna. But yes, I found this village and I'm very excited about it. The other ones I thought I had found were not actually um, good. Here we go. Hey, go to the charging station, you nitwit. Oh wait, he's a nitwit. He can't go. Hmm, I've answered my own question. How about you, guy? You're a normal villager. Yes. Okay, we need to trade with him. But we need other villagers. They're all babies. What happened to the adults? Where did you guys even come from if there's no adults? There's a guy. Hey, beer. Here you go. Have that. Air canister. No, bad. What if I... Can I just cycle this? Yes, we can cycle this guy. Okay. 
I'm really nervous. I smacked him on accident. Come here, buddy. <gasps> yes, PCB, blue PCB blueprint. That guy's got it locked in. Uh, I don't even have a single emerald. Um, where's the other guy? What can we trade? What can we trade? Okay, we need to do slash home. Um, let me see here. What what can we trade for villagers with villagers that we can use right away? Um, an armor. Yeah, I think an armor is going to be our best bet here. I do have a blast furnace that we can just lend over there. And then I'm going to bring some iron. We are running out of iron. Jeez. Okay, so the guy that was attached to this, we are going to make him not attached to it anymore. Come here. I have a thing for you. There. Go get it. Go get it. It's right there. Yes. Bad. No, you need iron. Wait, that might not be unlockable right away, I don't think. That works. Uh, we just need coal. There should be coal around here. Where do I even go? I thought I should have mined the coal and I saw it. I just need 10 emeralds. That's a big order, actually. That's going to be a lot of trading for 10 emeralds. Ouch. Okay, this is what I was looking for. I think there was some coal here. Yes. Okay, now we have 45. We do need a bit more. Um, here we go. We got some more down here. You guys might, might not be able to see. Sorry. Okay, we got over a stack. We're going to need more. Yes. Okay, we have almost three stacks. We might need a little bit more. Okay. Oh. Oh. I didn't realize it would take us back back. Interesting. Interesting. I'll just utilize my level. We'll get back. Cool. All right, you there. We did it. Frick yeah. We have the PCB blueprint in our grasp. It was that easy all along. I really want to kill that guy because he's a nitwit. Okay. You there. Yes. PCB. And you're done. No, you're not really. Use the Amadon tablet to order a PCB blueprint. Get out of here. Okay. Anyways, we have the PCB blueprint that we need now. Uses uh, UV light. We're not going to do that just yet. We better have needed that. We better have needed that. I'm going to be... Wait, yeah, we did. Crafting the UV light box. Uh, must you expose PCB's UV light at certain places, which is determined by the blueprint laying on top of the PCB. This exposure process takes a maximum of 10 minutes less if you add speed upgrades to the machine after full 10 minutes. You'll have a 100% chance that the PCB will be successfully etched in etching acid. You can, however, expose the PCB for a shorter time, which will result in a lower chance of PCB being successfully etched. Okay, so we did need this to etch the PCBs. Thank you goodness oh my gosh i was a little nervous about it do i have glowstone i do one two three glowstone perfect and then uses we need some redstone lamps one two three perfect and then we can make the uv light box now does this require okay this machine exposes empty pcbs to uv light making them ready to for processing in an etching tank, the longer you expose a PCB, the better chance that the PCB will successfully be etched. But note also that progress becomes slower as the process continues. You can configure a threshold at which the PCBs are considered completed, so you could set this low to process items quickly, accepting the chance of failed PCB etching. Uh, or failed etching. Failed PCBs can be recycled in a blast furnace for another attempt. Oh, very cool. All right, so this is useful. We are going to make PCBs today. You guys, don't you worry about it. Um, we needed that, though. We weren't going to be able to do it without. 
So yeah, PCB blueprint, we got it. Um, stone base. Crafting component last one it has no use on its own. Okay, drill pipe. I was required to get the gas lift drill down fluids. They are also suitable for general buildings if you like. Okay, very cool. Cannon barrel. Okay, air canister. Okay, I think we're done with this. Um, stop worm. That just tells it to stop real quick. Machines, air cannon, vacuum pump, vortex cube, gas lift. Don't need that yet. All right, fluid mixer. A fluid mixer uses pressure to combine two fluids into resulting fluid. Primary use for biodiesel production. Fluid mixer will run faster if more pressure is provided. Etching acid, okay. But I don't know how to make this. Etching tank is used to chemically develop PCBs. Etching acid is made in a pressure chamber and used in the etching tank. See the PCBs entry for more intros. Okay, we can't. It doesn't want us to. We have the UV light box. We have the pressure chamber. We don't have the this or that. We don't have the ability to even make this yet. Hmm. Crude oil. Oh, okay. So I think the crude oil is how we do this. Okay. Way to extract the oil is with a gas lift. Okay. Gas lift. Are you gassy? You're about to be. Okay. So we do have one of the little crude oil deposits right there. So we don't have to go very far for it. So let's see. What do we need? We need one of these dudes. We need some of these dudes. And boom, gas lift. Cool. Gas lift is a type of pump which uses pressure to pump up liquids. When placed down, it requires pressure and a drill and drill pipes to operate the gas lift. Places drill pipes downward until it hits liquid. When solid blocks are encountered, they will be dug. This uses pressure proportional to the block's hardness. The minimum pressure required to operate increases per proportionally to the working depth. Hmm. So we have the drill pipes and we have this guy, but we don't have the ability to pump that over there. Okay, I think we're at a stopping point for today because we just, we need more iron. We need to make more pipes. We need more pressure. So we're going to wrap up the episode for today, ladies and gentlemen, but thank you all so much for watching. Today we got into Pneumatic Craft, which is a pressure mod that just has too much pressure for us right now. So anyways, guys, I'll see you all in the next episode. Take care. Peace out. Bye-bye.